Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to explain you the problem of pentagonal pyramid. Okay, you must remember the problem here. The pentagonal pyramid of base side 50 mm and axis length 60 mm is resting on HP on its base. With the side of the base is perpendicular to V. Draw its isometric projection. So for this problem, first we need to construct the orthographic projection. Okay, so now I'm explaining that. So first to draw a vertical line of 30 mm. Now measure 108 on either side of this. Measure 108 degree on either side of this line. So now again, so by help of compass, so you get the point, the top, uh, the fifth point of that one. So here we need to place the edge in this way only because of the condition what they have given. The side of the base is perpendicular to VP. So now I'll just give the annotations. So this is a 30 mm. So now so just I'll produce this to the x square line. And again I need to get the midpoint of this one. The midpoint means so from this corner draw opposite line of a midpoint similarly for this corner this will be the midpoint draw that line only two are enough so you will get an axis of that one okay so remaining those you need to just join it okay so like this just like this one now so from this corner to this midpoint from all the corners you need to join to the midpoint because it is a pyramid and you are looking from the top all the sides are visible here now so in the problem it is given that axis length is 60 mm so measure 60 mm length and look at this one so here the axis length will be 60 mm yes for this kind of problem some marks will be allotted for this orthographic projection also. That's why we need to construct this one. Now, so I'm putting this pentagon so within the box here. And first, I'll give annotation. This is A, B, C, D, and E. And from this box, I'm going to give it as a 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So we have to get the isometric projection of this one. So now, a horizontal line. Mark a reference point and draw the perpendicular line on either side of this one. Measure 30 degree on either side of this. Yes, now so we have to measure the length of 1 to 2, take isometric length of the length 1 to 2 and mark it here. So 1 to 2. Similarly, to measure what is the length of 1 to 4, convert that to isometric length by just multiplying with the point 816. Now again, so you have to mark that. So now you got 1, 2 and 4. So similarly, we have to get the point 3 here, the corner 3. Again, measure what is a 4 to 3, draw R. Again, measure 2 to 3 and complete this one, 2 to 3, complete this one. So this forms the, the box of the pentagon. So now again, so we need to transfer all the points that is A, B, C, D onto this line. So this will be the three now. On 1 to 2 you are having a C, measure 1 to C, convert that to isometric line and so mark it here. So similarly 4 to A you have to measure, convert that to isometric. Similarly 1 to B, convert that to isometric. Then again 2 to D, then 4 to on 4, 3, we are getting the E point here. So now, so this is A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, and E to A. So I'm just writing that one, A, B. So this is C, D, and E. So A, B, C, D, what I've written. Now here, we have to mark the midpoint of that one. So in order to mark the midpoint, here again, we need to measure what is the length of this one. Okay, so from the midpoint, so vertical horizontal li line I have dropped, right? So measure what is the length from this to, again, uh, let us say this as a uh, some uh, two dash I am going to do. So measure what is the length from 1 to 2 dash.
dash and uh, one two three dash, right? So one two two dash. So mark here and again one two three dash. You mark here and draw these lines parallel, parallel to thirty degree lines, and somewhere it is going to meet at this point. Okay. So this is one two two dash, one two three dash. Now what is the axis length they have given? So it is given in the problem that sixty mm. Again take isometric length of sixty mm. Then draw the axis of the pyramid. Okay, this should be isometric length of 60 mm. Now, now this is the apex of the pyramid. From that apex, you connect to the corresponding point. So that is from this apex to E point, A point, so then B point. Similarly, C and finally D point. So this is the the. Isometric projection of a pentagonal pyramid. Thank you.